today, we're doing percentages, which may seem quite easy, but in fact, there's some real little twists to percentages that people don't realise. And it wasn't until I got students sitting the non proctor quizzes last year and tutorials and running into problems that I realised there's more to percentages than meets the eye. Um, we're also going to look at exchange rates, ratios, rounding and scientific notation, all of which are things that you'll need in your life. Okay. But just making sure this didn't print out in colour. Yes, it did. Did it? I um, took my lecture notes home last night just to practice my lecture and then left them there. So I've had to print them out real fast this morning. So I'm just hoping I've got everything here. Right, so we've got here that a percentage is a way of writing down a fraction. So 50% is 50 out of 100, which is a half. And so 30% of $34 is 30 over 100 times 34, which is $10.20. That's all the percentages. And in fact, that little sign there is one and two zeros. That's what it is. It's 1%. Don't know if anybody knows this, but there's another one like that, which is a per mil, which is one per thousand. So, but we don't use those much. Okay. Now let's have a look. We've got a question here. A television costs $2,000. Henry Norville is offering 25% off for a short time only. How much will the TV cost? Now what you need to know is how to do quickly ones in your head. 25% off is the same of 100 minus 25 or 75%. So if something's 25% off, you will be paying 75%. Okay, if it's 20% off, what will you pay? 80%. Okay, if it's 50% off, you pay... 50%. Right. I was surprised there were people who didn't know this, but that's good. You know it now. So the quick way is you multiply by 75%, so 2,000 times 0.75 equals 1,500. Okay, so quickly write this one down. Fridge costs 1,200. What will the price of the discount of 15% be? Even if you haven't got your calculator, just write down what you would do. Okay, everybody get $1,020? Put up your hand if you did. Great. It's always good to start straightforward. Okay, so that's just finding a percentage.